I used to play that song when I was a DJ. That was a jam and a half. Some new movies to let you know about in real talk today, including a highly anticipated sequel and a new movie from Disney. Movie reviewer Greg Russell is back with us. Greg, what's up? <laughs> Doing well, Jason. How about yourself? Good. Let's start with the return of Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall in Coming to America 2. Yeah, oh, like Coming said, the first to just... America. <laughs> right. Come, right. <laughs> first one was out 30 years ago, so here it is in modern time. And uh, what going on is Eddie Murphy finds out, the character finds out that he has a son who is living in New York. So all the next kings are supposed to be um, male, so he goes to try and find him. So that's basically the main part of the story. And there's a little bit of, you know, slowness with the story. Main thing you're really going to be looking at, because uh, I know we got some clips that are going with it, uh, is the reunion factor. Everybody pretty much from the first movie is in this. And uh, there are a lot of other special characters who show up from other Eddie Murphy movies. So that was the fun part. So I know everybody still, however, is going to catch up and watch it this weekend. So what are you doing back here, idiot, I mean? I've just discovered that I may have a son here in this land. How much child support is she getting from? The king pays no child support. No child support for 30 years and you came back? You was a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Greg, we've been doing this for years now. That is, yeah. you, you kind of sold it short a little on your intro. Is it not good? It's the story. I mean, that, that's the one thing you, you probably even see other people have written about it and talked about it. But the fun factor is seeing all these people who you've known for the past 30 years. And, and like I said, plus the surprises. And so, that's, that's, yeah. that's what makes you a glasses half full kind of guy, because you're saying, eh, but here's the good part. So how many reels? Three. So see, see there we go, right down the middle. Gosh, three but, from you. <laughs> All right, next yeah. up, it's the new movie from Disney, Raya and the Last Dragon. Uh, we talked to the head animator of the film earlier this week. She's originally from Royal Oak. I've interviewed her before for some of her other Disney movies. Yes, very nice person and good movie. Uh, it's all about this country that was once all together, then something happens where it becomes five different countries. They all have these uh, crystals that once they put them together, will give them all types of power. So it's all about Raya trying to get them all together, also to save her dad. Here's some a look at that. Welcome to the world famous Shrimp Oreo. My name is Boone. I'll be your server today. Would you like to hear our daily specials? Yes, please. We got shrimp. We got kanji. We got a shrimp kanji that won't quit. The captain. Where is the captain? Let me go get him. What's up, my new customers? I'm Captain Boone, the owner, chef, and chief financial officer of the Shrimp Oreo. How can I help you? Well, I'm Sisu, and, and we I need to get to Talon now. I'm sorry, the Shrimporium is not a water taxi. <laughs> Toy, that's a lot of jade. Half now, half when we arrive in Talon. <laughs> it seems kind of delightful. What did you think about this? How many oh, reels? Yeah, this is a definite four. It's got a very good message. I will say this, it's for children probably eight years and older, just because of certain things that it has in it, you know, might uh, not be suitable for younger children. But uh, fun adventure to take a ride on. So kind of like Big Hero 6, there's some themes that might be a little too scary or edgy for the young, the young right. ones. All right, next we have right. a new movie out on Netflix starring and directed by Amy Poehler. What is Moxie all about? Moxie is all about high school. Remember those great days? And it's this high school where it's basically all the male students are kind of like male chauvinists. Well, this new student transfers in and she's like, why are you putting up with all this? So this one girl who's normally very quiet decides to put together a magazine called Moxie. So I got to talk to the two main stars of the film, and here's what they have to say about that, and also Amy Poehler. Here she is. She's already been in the school, knew all these people from growing up. Was always kind of like the quiet, you know, girl. But once you get pushed, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it just clicks, as I think it does for most maybe girls, women, people, or that moment of, oh, I, I see, I, I see what's what's going on here, and I have no choice but to do something in my own way. Um, and I think she does do it in her own way with, with the help from all the people around to her, her or um, like Lucy and Claudia, who, who have a different perspective. Your character, she didn't take anything from moment one. She shows up as her entire self and uh, mm -hmm. does it with such authenticity and um, 
just a continuous energy of being this unapologetic young woman who knows what she wants and um, and isn't afraid to speak out against injustice. I think that my generation um, really strives to be socially and um, politically conscious in, in a beautiful way. So I, I love playing Lucy. Yeah, she shows up and she's like, nope, I'm not going to fit into the box that you put me in, which is really dope. So, and you know, I strive to do that in my own life. So it, it, it's been a blessing to play her. You've got Amy Poehler. She's playing your mom, but she's also the director of the film as well. Yeah, so she was doing so much. Um, she was the creative head in every way, but then she was also acting in the movie. Um, and she jumped back and forth between the two roles effort effortlessly. Thank you both so much for your time. I have to say that on Amy Poehler's behalf, that is very brave of her because, of course, Tina Fey wrote and starred in and created the, maybe the greatest high school movie of all time, Mean Girls. Of course, yes. Election is up there and American Pie and Fast Times at Ridgemont High and too many others to name. What did you think about this one? Did Amy Poehler add something more to the high school canon? <laughs> yeah, she, she's got a very good movie because... It, it is something, especially like for young ladies, to see where if you feel like, you know, people are trying to suppress you in your school, different things you can do. Because, in fact, I told a friend of mine about it. His daughter had done something similar at her university by putting out a publication. So, yeah, it's a very good message movie. Amy's funny in it. She's kind of like that bewildered mom, you know, who is caught between being the friend and being the mom. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a definite four, you know, for this one. So, yeah, check it out. Greg, good to talk to you. Good to see you. Have a great weekend. You too. Always a pleasure. Have fun. Enjoy the ride.